Woo! 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 Welcome to the Tim Man Bodie Club YouTube channel. pretty great five-day weekend. We had a lot of exciting things happen. With that said, I'm just going to jump right into the riding footage and we'll talk some more later.
You can see that Presley is right on the verge of getting wake to wake. Um, we're all very excited for that to happen. We keep on uh, pushing her and encouraging her to get wake to wake. I know it's going to happen any moment. Rob is getting better at going for grabs on his wake to wake jumps. Uh, he's also working on toe side wake to wake. Then you can see my friend Daniel nailed his first ever heel side front side 360. So we were pumped about that. I also got a new trick. I'm always looking to make my tricks more stylish. I was able to throw a grab in on my toe side front side 180. I want to take that to a three soon. Um, I also got my uh, toe side front side 360 back and my toe side back roll back. You also saw at the end there that Rob is getting better at surf airs. Um, and then also I got a new trick on my surfboard, a surf 720. So I'm able to spin two times in a row. I've been working on that for probably about a year and a half or so. Still working on getting my Switch 540 back, uh, as well as my Tantrum. You can tell I, I came pretty close there on my Tantrum. Uh, but I'm not gonna let those two things hold me back from starting to work on new tricks. So um, I'm, I'm eager to start working on a few new things, and I hope to be able to share those things with you soon. So along with all those ups, we also had some downs. I've got a few clips to share with you of our craziest wrecks for the weekend. tell that there's some big time stingers in there. My friend Jeff was working on going wake to wake and he's very close uh, but he took a nasty front edge scorpion. He ended up being fine. It just hurt pretty good at the moment. Um, you can also see that Rob and I took a couple of spills. My uh, tantrum wreck there I actually got the wind knocked out of me pretty hard but I don't think anything compares to what you saw at the end there and that is Brock. Brock took a pretty mean front edge similar to Jeff um, and, and did a scorpion as well. But in Brock's case, the board actually hit his head somehow uh, and it actually cut his head open. So I've got some pictures to share of when he went to the hospital to get that taken care of. So if you're squeamish, you may want to look away for this part. All right, so you're probably wondering, just like us, uh, if Brock's doing good. Um, he's doing just fine. Uh, he actually got that taken care of pretty quick, got back out to the lake, and he told his dad that that was not gonna get in the way of his wakeboarding. So pretty happy to hear that after getting a pretty severe cut in his head um, and getting four staples, that he's not gonna stop wakeboarding because of it. But we definitely did learn a few uh, lessons on that. For one, I think kids should always be in helmets just because it seems like uh, there is more of a possibility for the board to hit them. Um, I can tell you that I've taken many, many, many hard wrecks and I've never had the board come close to my face um, or my head or anything like that. Uh, but kids are just, they're more flexible and it's just a shorter dif distance um, from the board to, the, to your head. So uh, from now on, uh, I believe Brock and Presley are going to be wear wearing helmets uh, just for precaution. Um, and then also, um, you know, the lower the speed, the better for somebody who's just learning how to cross the wake. We were going 17 miles per hour there, which is actually slower than the slowest speed I go when I'm working on new tricks, which is around 18.5. Um, and I go around 21 miles per hour on a normal basis. Um, but for a kid, it just seems like, uh, you know, the slower you can make it go, the better. Uh, but when they're ready to jump wake to wake, that's when you have to increase the speed so that the, so that the wake isn't so far apart. Um, but he's not at that point yet, so um, we're, we're basically going to just have, have it going slower when he's out there for now. Uh, just to give you an example, for Presley, we're actually going 19.5 miles per hour. 
um, so that she can get, she has a better chance of getting wake to wake. So that's all I have for you today. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video with some clips of us celebrating our new tricks, as well as a few other scenic shots I got. I want to thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please leave comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thank you.